usually our surveying classes, I'm going to say average about 12 students. I spend a couple hours every week in lecture with them and three to five hours in lab a week. So it's very one-on-one. -on -one. And I think you find that with all the programs at Paul Smith. Having a small class is awesome. Uh, anytime you have a question, you don't have to wait around. The professor will come to you and actually fully explain what you need to do and not just give you a quick answer and go on to somebody else. One of the things we emphasize here at Paul Smith is we focus on a lot of the basics at first. So their first couple weeks, if they're out in the field, we actually teach them how to use a steel tape, how to do some very basic compass work. But from then on, we move on to sort of the higher tech things. We're using levels out in the field to get elevations. They will eventually use total stations to shoot distance and angles. And that's all in their first year. The other day in lab, each one of us had a total station. The professor was able to come around and show each one of us one-on-one -on -one how to use it if we had questions. We have the students out in almost all kinds of weather. What we're trying to train here is a good surveying technician, one that can come into a surveying company, go to work right away with minimum instruction, and obviously then work to become a licensed land surveyor. I've applied to places in my hometown. I found a few jobs out west. You can go basically anywhere with surveying. There's jobs everywhere. A lot of our students end up right away heading out into the field, but we've had a good portion of them that discover that they have an aptitude for the learning and the mixture of office work and field work, and they continue on to either a four-year surveying degree, in some cases a civil engineering degree. You can basically take your surveying and GIS uh, minor and take it and go wherever you want with it, which I like how uh, dynamic it is.